All right, so we change so we change the lineup a bit. We're going to lead in with Agron followed by Beedrill, and we brought our Scrappy along with us. Um, let's see if we have an item for it actually. Let me see here. Um, do we have any leftovers on us right now? Um, yes, we do. Okay. Let me think. We might end up Mega Evolving Agron, so let's give you something else. Um, let's, see. let's actually give you an Iron Plate if we have that. And you have the EXP sure you have. Black belt, okay. Damn it, we don't have an expert belt, that sucks. Saw them for just a moment. We've been looking everywhere for you, Glaceon. Come out. Come back to me. Lumi, do you think that's really gonna work? Indeed. If beckoning them were all that were necessary, we would not be in this predicament. Oh, you're right, of course. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. I never think. I never, ever, 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 blah, 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 blah thought. But they came in and there's John Kirby. John Kirby, are you here to ruin everything again? Why would John Kirby have stolen them? Why else would? They were our Pokemon. We were the ones who cared for them. Give them back. Give them back, give them back. You took them away. Why did you take them away? Do you have any idea how quiet it is without them? Do you? Do you, do you, do you, do you? Oh my god, this just gives me like <laughs> Kirby Star Allies flashbacks. <laughs> oh my god. Just into the <laughs> rant. <laughs> I think that's enough, Zero. I commend you on getting here once again despite the sleep effect, but that's hardly necessary. After all, you never really known failure, have you? Maybe, maybe, you lose a battle or two. But that's not a failure, that's just a setback. You always end up on top. And why? And why? Is this your determination, or, or is justice on your side? Or maybe, it's just a bond you have with your Pokemon and friends. Or maybe, it's just plot armor, you know? But all those things were just cliches to, to hand wave the fact that this world... In this world, some people are given the privilege to succeed and some are not. Now, I am fortunate enough to come into the privilege after having d been denied it for years, but you, this is how you've been ever since you got there reborn, isn't it? To whatever god you pray to, I hope you pay their tithe this I don't know how to pronounce that. Because I intend to test the limits of your fortune till they break. Zero. It's time for a reunion. Yes, yes, that's right. You can see how happy- No, you can see how it feels to have your friends rip away too. Hypno, bring him out. So yeah, Kane and Shelly got captured. They can't hear you anymore, Jokerty. Not that you ever say much. How does it feel? Save the gloating for later, Zero. We're on a schedule here. The other should be coming shortly, too, and we need to be ready. It could get crowded in here, but that's fine for our purposes. After all, everyone who sets foot in here becomes a puppet for Hypno to play with. And it's all thanks to this one that that it could happen. When she when she ran off from Kalsanon, we see the we seized the opportunity. And then others came to find her. And others came to find them. And now here you are. Dominoes just love to fall. You should try it sometimes. Like now. Uh, I don't like this fight. There's so much bull crap going on here. Oh crap! Ah, that sucks. Now I need. I just remembered. I can't mega evolve Agron because I have to mega evolve B drill. Shit. You. Oh god, why? <laughs> Ooh. 
the light screen. Okay, that doesn't okay, that doesn't hurt me. Much. Devilon and Muck, okay. Rock slide followed by another drill run. This is actually the set that I run on Beedrill, except I sometimes swap around X Scissors with U-Turn, but we don't have U-Turn, so <laughs> yeah. Oh god, it's faster! No. Rip! Damn it! That was such a good run, though, for Beedrill. Managed to, to survive a bit. All right, let's head on Inferno now. Who is going to be Constant Web? I forgot about that. Stomp tantrum. Oh god, that hurts. Oh, that's even worse. We well, might need to reset and instead bring out what's it called? So I'm swapping for for B drill. Oh wow, they're actually crit. Yeah, Mega and Primarina. Actually, hmm. Oh, I hate the situation. Yeah, we might need to reset this fight already. It's a bad situation. What? Oh, fuck off. Let's. Damn it. Okay, this is a, okay. Yeah, I, I made some pretty bad plays earlier, so that's not gonna work. This isn't gonna work on my end. Well, Verona. When did I just realize? When the hell did she get? Oh, it's for Cal. I was wondering when the hell did you get a vocal run of everything. No, come! Really? Okay, we're resetting. We're resetting. That was such a bad run. Alright, let's try this again. Let's actually go Mega Evolve the Aggron for this one. Rebombi! What the f Come on! I should have brought Chichino with me in this case. Ugh. Of course, it's faster. All right, resetting again. Let me think. Hmm. 
Mm. We'll swap out Blastoise for Genchino. Uh, I need a faster way to take that out. Wait, is that the right way? Yeah, here it is. Oops, whatever. If I can't outspeed the Rebombi, then we're in trouble. Oh my god, we still can't. That's that's an issue. We'll let you, you know, fall from this one. Ugh, I'm so mad I got the sticky web off. Still is from Arena, but we don't have anything to counter that really. Rocks like both of them. Well, King Shield for this one. Ugh, come on. That's all it did? Are you serious? Oh my god, the young man got shut of also. Okay, this is gonna get so dumb. Okay, we're resetting this one again. The problem is the first fight, because if you screw Because, like, you're stuck in here for three fights w once you enter. Oh my god.
Yeah, see, that doesn't work because it doesn't even kill it any, any earlier layer. That's a crit, of course. Yeah, see, that doesn't work. So we have to take out the bombing first, or else that's just gonna be a pain in the neck. This is already more tries than my main file, which is an issue. Really? That's all it does? Yeah, see, that's not gonna cut it out. It's just gonna die in a single fire punch. Or rock slide, oh my god. That crit also. Okay, maybe if I let the stick web happen, but go for the Marowak instead, I don't know. This pretty much goes down to whether the Marowak flinches or not. If it doesn't, then we're kind of screwed. Yeah, see. Okay, you know what? I can look at that. Fivalon Meowstic. It's female Meowstic. I think I can outspeed that. There we go. The, the less Pokemon you lose, the better. Because in between fights, you while your Pokemon heal, anyone that anyone that faints cannot be revived. Like they don't like not they can, but they won't be revived between fights, which is an issue. Lippy and Muck. Let's drill in the Muck and Rock Blast the Skullipede. Damn it, that's not enough. Oh, it was, okay. Barely. Yan Mega and Mimikyu. We have max attack right now, so we could probably just live this one out. Yeah. That wasn't an issue. Can this Mimikyu full inch please? There we go. Nice. We finish that up with Poison Jab, and you get to die to a Rock Blast. Alright, this is going so much better. Why did I lead with Aggron of everything? Levani and Nido King. I really have to keep, keep, keep counting how many Pokemon were there throughout each fight. 
Oh, it's arrived. Oh god. I hope I flinch anyways. Haha. <laughs> and you could just get smack out with bold seed. I hate this comment so much. Alright, no feigns of Pokemon this time. That's the best outcome I could get right now. As expected. In that case, zero? <laughs> I've been looking forward to this for a long time, but which but which one do we give up which? Let the girl go. Kane has opposed this more frequently. Understood. Good morning. Um, John Kirby? And good night. <laughs> and sweet, sweet dreams, John Kirby. So we are now sleeping. Lights, cameras. I can't. I don't remember what they'll go over. What they'll go over? What the hell is this later in the story? But whatever. Anyways, so please don't have focus sash. Oh my god, you have focus sash. Okay, at least it did not have shadow. Um, I shot or anything. Oh, but that sucker punch instead. Oh my god, that's so fucking worthless. For me, all right. I need to get the the Aegis. I'm sorry. I need to get the the Beedra revived before all this crap goes down. The hell, shiny Miss Magius. Oh, frick! You have dazzling him. No, are you kidding me? Come on. Damn it! Come on. This is not going well at all. Got to tell. You have Shadow. Oh, you have Calm Mind. It's even worse. No! That's all it does. The worst part about this right now is that I can't Mega Evolve anymore, so that's an issue. Please don't kill. Oh my god, that thing was faster! Alright, well, okay, I'm 
with this one. We're gonna revive. Where are our revives? Beedrill. Actually, we're gonna take this time to try to revive everyone, and we'll and then we'll was it we'll give um, Agron some healing support. It actually can't do much to me right now. Damn it. Ugh. Fucking sucker punch. Man, I hate that move. It got nerfed in between generations, but still. I hate it nonetheless. Shed skin, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Oh, frick, why? Okay, whatever. All right, we're back in a better. We're back in a better situation now. At least we managed to get everyone revived. Please flinch? Damn it. Oh god, why? That was a smart move on my end. Oh, who flinched? Frick. Uh oh, that's not good. I don't know who's the bigger threat at this point. Oh, Alkazam, a freaking horse. Oh, that thing has a roar veil now. God damn it. Please not focus blast while you're at it. Psychic turn. Oh crap, that means no priority for me. I actually missed Brick Rig? Are you kidding me? There we go. And we'll 
give Agron the healing support for this one. Nice. Oh, what? Come on. What do we have left? The Paralyzed Beedrill and Infernape. Okay, yeah, Psychic against Infernape, that kills it. What's it called again? Chewing gum, there we go. Oh, yeah, it's dead immediately, a fucking horse. Do I need max revives? Yes, I do. Ugh, this sucks. I have to spam out revives until the second train wears off. This is so bad. I can't do anything while the psychic train is still up. Finally, alright. Cycle around a few turns. Oh wait, that one heals half crap. I did not think that one through. Well, that con candy rebuff to max. Oh, god damn it. I might need to reset this set of oh my god, I don't want to reset this set of fights. Now this all depends on like how much does Psywave do to me, or Gyrobar or whatever. Oh god. Fuck, oh my god. God damn it. Ugh, alright, so I made it back to this point. Man, I hate this gauntlet so much. Like, this gauntlet can go to hell.
Yeah. Oh my god, it's still got the thunder wave off. God damn it. it has magic guard also, which sucks. Okay, that's good. For this one, um, let's go after the Bisharp. In the meanwhile, we'll swap out Chinchino for um, Infernape. Damn it. The stand will probably go for Rock Slide again. Never mind. Oh, fuck. Infernate, my friend, you might need to take the fall, but not without mock punching the sand slash. <laughs> you did something at least, Infernate. Oh, this might kill. Oh. Oh. Let's go for an Iron Head, and with this turn we will... Where's my thingy-majigger? Here it is. And I'm pretty much dead next turn, so it doesn't really matter. Actually, let's do an Iron Head on the Alkazam, so we can do a Brick Brick on the Glaceon. Oh, please don't let this kill me. Okay. Please don't let this one kill me. Perfect. Ooh, wow, they actually killed it. Nice. Espeon and Jinx. Dazzling Gleam. That's going to kill Aggron. Oh, no it doesn't. This might kill, though. Oh my god, it did. No! Um... What do you want that? On second thought, actually... We'll try to take out the Jinx. The boulder is kind of bugging me right now. Oh, side shock on. Okay. Okay. Now's the time. No, frick. Let's take this turn to revive Infernape then. Where is where are my revives? Here they are. And Felstinger the Espeon. It's just going to Zen Head with the beat run kill it anyway. Oh, Rock Slide, okay. 
doesn't kill, so that's cool. We're gonna drill run the Metagross. Alright, I think we got it this time. I think that's the last Pokemon they this is the last Pokemon they go oh, never mind. God damn it. Uh, let me check something. What is Mega Gardevoir space speed? 100. Okay, so I can still at least take out something. We'll use this turn to Max Revive. The Aggron. And Infernip will Heat Wave everything. Oh, it's faster. What the hell? What? Come on. Motherfucker. God damn it. <sighs> this fight can go to hell. Ugh. God, we're finally back at this point. After literally eternity. Alright, let's try it. Focusing the, the Clefable this time. I don't know if Ninetales outspeeds Chinchino. Well, it's one shot. Yes! Oh my god, that's so annoying. Oh crap! Actually leveled up. Alright, the good news is that it's not going to disobey during this fight at least. Bisharp and Sandslow. Oh god, why? Let's send out Infernape and Aggron. Mock Punch the Sand Slot. Actually, let's go for Heat Wave on both of them. We'll take this turn to heal up. <laughs> Why'd Sand Why'd Sandslash get slower all of a sudden? What the hell? That was random. Alakazam. Ugh. Glaceon. Psychic Trainer. Okay, I was right not to go for Mog Punch just yet. Alright, Infernape's dead this turn. Stupid. What's it called? Hail. Psychic train is up, which means I can't benefit much from a thing major. Ugh, damn it, what do I do this time? Sucks. That's not one shotting for sure. Rock slide. Of course, Beedrill's dead also. Oh! Wait. Yes! The hail actually stopped. Yes! That's so good. Let's drill on that. <laughs> drill run that. Oh, wait. But that thing just has psychic. Ugh. Damn it. I think Beedrill's dead again. Whatever, as long as this thing's dead. Ooh, use Blizzard. Agron missed, yes! 
But Agron's also slower. No. Um. What's more of a threat? Um. You are, I think. I think I could just X as Oh, I didn't have the attack boost yet. No! Frick, it went after B drill. Damn it. That's bullshit. Um, who's left? Frost last. That's gonna be used on. Oh. Huh, okay. Wait, is that gonna kill me? Are you kidding me? Come on! That's bullshit. Oh my god, they still have more Pokemon. The good news is that the factory field wasn't up yet. Please don't have please don't outspeed this time. Okay, it actually didn't outspeed. That's good. That means there's a chance. Okay, we're after Chinchina. That's good. Yes! We finally got down to stupid Gardevoir. God, I hate that thing. Um, there actually isn't anything I could do here. Okay. Actually, hold up, hold up. We'll lead it with the King Shield Bulldog. Oh wait, crap! What am I thinking? I just remember. <laughs> Oops. That's not good, I outspeed it. Crap. I swear to god, that better be it. Ah, finally! <laughs> that literally took ages, oh my god. I think that took like 80 runs or something, resets. You want to feel like control. I don't know what that says. Liar. I will always love you, whatever. That was that was what they said. That was what the mystery message said at the end of episode 17. And now I'm in the land of literally nothingness. Seriously, where the hell am I? There's no battles here, but oh my god, I hate that fight so much. And Chinchino went up a level also. Uh, which means uh, I guess I guess I'll leave it for now. I don't think I don't I don't know if I'll be using Chinchino for the gym battle. Station here Station Master here. We got your boarding passes. Another another one for Reborn City, huh? They sure have been pushing out that new league. Just between you, me, and old and the old batter fence pose? I hear Reborn City's kind of a dump. Why anyone would want to go there is beyond me. And yeah, a bunch of, bunch of you n ambitious trainer type folks have been heading out in droves. But off you go now. Train's leaving any minute. And then he just disappears. That was random. I don't know who, I don't know who these guys are. 
So your job, Kirby. I'm Julia, captain of Pep. I know, cheer and pep and all things bubbly and bright. Oh, pop quiz. Are you going to take on the Reborn League? Yes. Correct. That's the only thing you, you could ever do anyways. I've been looking forward for a challenge, so get on. So go on, get down to the Grand Hall already. I don't like how this part specifically takes literally the, like a good 15 minutes. <laughs> hey, are you John Kirby? I'm Kiki. No, you're not. You're Victoria. It's a pleasure to meet you, but is everything okay? I heard something happened at the station. Well, you're here, so I guess you're alright. I'm gonna ask that I bring you to, in for salvation too. What? Don't worry, it shouldn't take long. Let's go inside. Yeah, there's no items here or anything, so I can just rush everything. So. You want Chimchar to chimp Pokemon? Yeah. I wonder what that bottom... I saved, you know what, I actually want to see what the hell is that path down there. Good thing I saved, I did not want to do that entire fight again. So let's, let's rush everything. I saw something at the bottom, so... Oh, well I'm just imagining things then, shit. Hey, you're too. You come here often? Ah, just kidding. Man, John Kirby, am I so glad to see you. I mean, I thought I had stars in my eyes, but I guess that was you. But really, I've been wandering around here for a while, and I was starting to get worried. I have no idea how I got here or what's going on, but what do you say we stick together until we figure out what's what in this place? Then again, there's only one path, so I guess that won't be hard. Come on, let's go. And he goes off into the distance where I can't catch him. <laughs> oh. Hi, hi, John Kirby. Welcome to the, the Super Duper Hype, Ultra Hyper, Electro Dazzle, Happy Boom Time House of Cheer. Just ignore all the super lame reality junk. I need more banners and streamers and... Hmm, Ways to cover up the persistent revelations of the best years of my life are already behind me, and from now on, everything is an inevitable decline. Wait, is that safety hazard? Oh, who cares? Anyways, don't think I'll go easy on you just because you're the one he chose. As former cheerleader, I have to convince myself that the Onyx trainers, the uh, trainer school honors depend on me. LTS, re we represent. We pack a punch and don't relent. All right, all right, all right. I'm Ward, so let's man. <laughs> John Kirby, a little bird, a little birdie told me you were coming here to challenge my sister. But but see, I know you, John Kirby. You don't deserve to challenge her. You're not good enough. Not even I was good enough. Maybe you don't understand why I'm doing this, John Kirby. It's not it's not like it's a matter of our family and our school's pride. But you're worthy, and I never was. So these are like reimaginings of past events, I guess. But I don't even know what the hell are the events as a whole. Oh wait, crap, that's not the right way. Because they because these events are kind of different from from what they what they were supposed to be in the in the actual game. Please notice. I saw. I think that was shade. I just saw. That's was it. Cal and Shelley. I don't know who that is. Callum Blake. I think that's Shelly. I don't know. This place is weird. What are you doing, you stupid tree? Let me go. This girl is completely out of control. Hold her down. There's like memory lane right here. Good. Begin treatment at 100 volts. You'll never get away with this, you dirty old man. Make that 110. Binder, binder as well. Wait, Tom, did I miss this? Spot? No, I guess I didn't. Now, now, Heather, just hold still. You might feel a little shock. Good thing that actually didn't hurt me. Oh, it was you. Your light shines dark brightest in the darkness after all. So make sure you never, ever, ever stop shining no matter what happens. I know this is a little backwards, but just hang in there, okay? She should open a path for you. Unless... Hey, John Kirby? If two stars fall, like, like passing like ships in the night... Do you think they wish upon each other? 
If that would happen, then which wish would win? Maybe we just have to chase them to the horizon to find out. And she jumps off, oh my god. Um, that's Luna, I believe. I'm actually not 100% sure. Oh, the- Oh geez, there you are. It's really you this time, right? I lost you before, and I've been seeing some weird stuff down here. Earlier, I saw a vision of you- a version of you, but I think that was from the past. You didn't even seem to see me at all. It was pretty cold. But I thought we were going to stick together, haha. <laughs> Listen, I keep feeling like there's someone just behind me. So stay close this time. So really, stay close this time, okay? Let's go slow together. And then he walks off in a direction that I can't get to. Damn it, Kane. Um, was this- did this go anywhere? No, it didn't. Welcome once more. I return as well, striking in perfect mortality with all the fury that my soul may harbor. Because that is all I can amount to. Defeat the inner chaos? Did you did you think I was only talking about Zen of the Mind? About Zen of the Mind. I could be centered to dead zero and I'll still end up... Oh my god, like... Uh, the first time I saw that, that was like a jump scare moment right there. How's it fair that I had to be the one to go? How's it fair that my body had to be the one killing itself? I didn't ask for this. Do you think I was satisfied? Do you think I, I didn't have dreams? Do you think I knew a single goddamn thing about staying calm? Defeat the inner chaos? I am made of chaos, and there's nothing I can do about that. Unlike these whiny self-absorbed children whose greatest problem is what their fucking hair looks like. They have no idea what it's like to wake up one day and suddenly hear that despite everything they had ever sought to do with their life, despite giving themselves to others every step of the way, despite surviving a family that communicated mainly in drugs and violence, Despite having climbed over all the shit of life just to make one goddamn oasis of serenity in this fucking ballistic world, the only reward you've got is death. Death, 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 tear my stomach open. Pick up my intestines, grind them into the dirt. My body would do it all on its own anyways. The only thing I ever taught was mercy. But no one could teach that to me. This, this entire place is just full of nightmare fuel, I swear to god. Please stop fighting. Please come back. I'll clean my room and won't complain anymore. I'll do anything I need to. Ju pl just please love each other again. So I'm assuming. So I'm assuming this part is like. Oh, is that Kane over there? Yeah. So this is probably like why Aya's mom lives alone in Burbixon or whatever. Yeah. And then we have this part. So you finally left too, huh? I know I'm a toxic person, but you can at least say bye first. But I guess that's what I deserve. Yeah. Oh, it's really just it's really just you, is it? This this place is running me ragged and not in the good way. If I keep seeing things about you, then you've probably seen some things about me too. To be honest, I'd rather just forget about most of that stuff. Well, obviously that's why I ran. <laughs> But then, the only place I ever ran was in circles. I guess it's hard to do anything else when you don't know where to go. Hey John Kirby, you know what you want to do in the future? Like after all, after this is all over? Nope. Then I guess we're made for each other after all. So many people seem like they just cut out and set on, what is, was it, set on whatever they want to do. But I was never like that. <laughs> I could barely settle on a romantic partner. Even with how much I joke and flirt about that stuff, it's just a way of keeping myself safe from commitments and disappointment. If those are any, even any different. Who knows? Maybe one day I could find somewhere I belong. Wait, I can actually can feel like I belong. Person or like, place or person either way. But I've gone, around, I've gone around enough to know that I'm the problem, not them. Even if they do nothing wrong, I can. Like, I still never feel like I can stay. But hey, everyone's a little bit broken, right? And some pieces just don't build together. No matter how much lotion, well, never mind. <laughs> you can go on ahead this time. Sticking, sticking together never works out anyways. And maybe just this time I'll stop running. Kane, you're the one who's trying to get away from me. There are all these, I don't even know who's who. We meet again. I have no intention of extending to you the same mercy as when we last met. Let me see this. I'm here to reclaim what has been stolen from me. Lizzie, Lizzie. I must do... Wait. I will do what must be done for your sake.
Blast that for a woman, and blast her husband twice. History cares nothing for her helpless romantic no hopeless romanticism. He is av he is as naive as I've been. Well neither does history care for its own study. I only I only need to recover the scars I carved and not earn my own. But I understand now. Reality accepts nothing less than full commitment and sacrifice. Those unwilling to choose from from that path has chosen it for has it chosen for them. Then there's only one path left to walk. Ironic. Perhaps this wait, perhaps this loss is why I need to glean the way. So yeah, that was serious. How funny. You thought you two were strong together, and here we are now. Let this be a lesson. Numbers do not help. Friends do not help. Nothing ever helps. No one ever helps. No one blah 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 blah. Oh my god, it's an army of elves. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that was Radimus and Luna. Once upon a time, a belt of meteors swept across the universe, but one day, one of those little meteors decided she wanted to go further than any, than any of the others ever had. So she kicked up her trail, revved up her space dust, and off she went, sailing far, far away across the galaxy, further than all of her best friends, further than all of her loving family, further than any meteor has ever known it was possible to even go. And when she was very, very tired of flying so far away, she found little planet she liked, and she thought that she would finally rest. So the, so the little meteor started to descend onto the uh, descend to the planet's surface. But the planet's atmosphere was so hot and so thick, and the little meteor was so exhausted from flying so many millions and millions of moons across space that she burned up right in the, that she burned right up in the sky. Do you know what happened? All the people on the planet looked up and they said, "Look, a shooting star. Let's make a wish." And so everyone on that little planet, which has scarce, wait, no, scarcely seen such a star in its life, wished. And wished and wished and wished with all their might. And, like those, and those people smiled and knew hope like they have never known before and felt happy. And by the time they would come to the surface, there was nothing of the little meteor left at all. It had all, poof, vanished. And even though it disappeared from the world forever, do you know what that little meteor did? It lived happily ever after. In the joy that brought, and the hearts that touched, and the smiles that inspired in its final moments as a shooting star. So even with its last little itty bitty bit of life, it never ever regretted what was it was done even once. Who is this person? So make sure you smile for me too, okay? You could have, oh that's random is. Oh maybe that was the one. Who knows? You could have been a meteor instead. Wait, can I not move? We're about to go back. Oh, okay. Yeah, so what is it? That's a Rolex, that's Radimus. Now it's a Curly, and now it's a Gardevoir. So many hats, oh my god. Uh, let's talk. Ooh! Solaris and Taka, Luna and L. Hee hee hee, this is funny. Hey, do you, wait, don't, don't you even know who your real ally is? Don't you, don't you? Hey, who could have, wait, who, who really made it so you get this far? Who, who, hey, have you been having fun? Not since that last gauntlet, haven't you, haven't you? So you're like me, <laughs> why else would you keep playing? Where am I in the freaking timeline now? Let me out of this dream world already. That's Sarah, I believe, yeah. And that's Bennett. These guys look like the Shadow Triad, only there's four of them. <laughs> uh... If that if this is what's like to die, I don't mind. I'm happy. I was, finally, I was finally able to be use, of use to my master, and that feeling is my own. My own, no matter how in, intensely I may feel it, even if even I know the truth. All my desire for him is just a reflection of his own longing for her, and neither of us could have ever realized it. After all, a human marrying a Pokemon, how, how gosh, unthinkable. 
These aren't the Dark Ages anymore. I'm not stupid, just a mess. And even if I pull all those thoughts square out of my head, I know they'll come all right. Wait, they'll all come rushing back the moment I saw him again. Isn't that how crushes are? Or is it just part of my fate to only have his feelings? I suppose I will never find out. Not anymore. Terror, no, frick you. How do I get out of here? So what is it? It's better this way, but you're not the only one. You're not the one who gets to decide that. John Kirby, I, I don't want to give up. I want to be able to fight like you. Please, it hurts. Don't, don't forget me. Oh, I don't think that scene was a thing either, so that must have been, was it, from taking the restaurant path? Or at least I don't recognize that anyways. How much longer do you think we have to stay out here? As long as a rope. What? How long is a rope? As long as it needs to be. Huh? I was just tired. Stop making excuses. I didn't mean to ruin anything. If you're really tired, then go to sleep. Here in the snow? No, in the luxury down bed we got. Yes, out here. Dad won't be mad after this, right? You will if you keep asking things like that. But I'm so cold. Yes, that's kind of the point. I want to go inside. Stop complaining. It's your fault we're in the situation in the first place. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I am. You're sounding like him. Better him than you. There's shade I saw. And I couldn't see who was that. So I just saw the split, oh my god, I just saw was it Zell split into two people. So that was from episode 17. Enough. Luna! How do you do, John Kirby? It's been a fair few moments since our last visit, has it not? But let's not linger on this. I fear you have dallied here far too long as it is. Though I do not fault you for it, this is my home rather than yours, so I will handle this place from here. Please. The way forward is yours alone. Why, thank you. Unbelievable. Admit everything, look who it is once again. Are you yourself, John Kirby? Please don't be alarmed, it's only me. I recognize this is somewhat unfortunate visi was it, visage for you to return to, so allow me. It's Redimus. Perhaps you will remember me better this way. If you'd be so kind, please pay no mind to my appearance before. It is one of my more, shall we say, esoteric headpieces. Perhaps I can explain in time, but for now, Miss Volcan, Miss Vol Miss Volcan, have wait, have you seen? Not all is lost after all, not for good. What the frick? Huh. Yeah, I see that. But too much has been. We aren't doing so well, you see. This requires some damage control. Nurse of Red Joy Miss is on the case. I don't promise to have medical qualifications, but I, but I do promise to help as best I can. A male nurse joy? Who's ever heard of that? Now listen, my dear, we don't discriminate here in the healthcare industry. Besides, no one heard of anything until it was invented. So let's not be too quick to dismiss new developments. The new developments have dismissed themselves. I should have known. This is the only way things go. You, so, you certainly can choose to believe that if you are happier doing so, but I suspect you are not. Of course I'm not. No one would no one would be happy knowing that they'd lose everything sooner or later. At least this way, we won't get hurt. Our contrary, you are hurt all the same. You're talk you're only taking on that pain now as opposed to later. And no guarantee when or where later might arrive, you bear an awful lot of wounds in the mean in the meantime. Is that truly worth it, I wonder? And what about you? Aren't you upset over losing her? Over both of them? Of course I am. But for better or for worse, I'm a veteran when it comes to losing hers. One might say I've been bearing an awful lot of wounds through some mean times. Another might say we was it we often tell each other the advice, no other is the advice we ourselves need to hear. And yet another might say it is better to focus on those whom we still have. For instance, saving that girl was rather heroic of you. 
That pity do this pity doesn't suit your triumph. What triumph? I couldn't stop them, any of them. What what's broken can't be fixed. Literally can't be replaced either. There's no going back. And yet John Kirby has come. Who knows if yet if another yet might. But I believe we are root being rude to our new arrival. John Kirby must be confused by now. I will explain. I've been here and there before Luna informed me she has been contacted. She told me a friend had summoned her to this place. I, I thought I was curious, so I offered to escort her. That's how we came to be here. Well, how is it? Oh my god, that stupid hat. Well, how is it? It's an adventure. An elevator with cut cable frosting and sprinkles of glass over it. I believe I'll wait for supper. Indeed. One would need to be mad to climb down through this. So I take it you're going immediately? I just might. Gardevoir? Luna 2, what are you doing here? How do you do, mother? And that mean and that means that person must be Based on a strange hat, Radimus. Radimus M Van ha Van Hannon, to be precise. My hat resents your words, but I on the other hand an honor to make your an honor to make your acquaintance. I've heard much about you, madam, likewise. Luna dear, are you unwell? Are you crying? I I am perfectly fine, there is no need to worry about me. I'm just very happy. I'm happy to have you both back. Right. So, Miss Volplane, what brings you to these remote parts? Parenting. <laughs> well, it seems you've come to the right place. I didn't mean... I suppose so. And now we finally have the whole family together. What a wonderful but shocking turn of events. Miss Volplane, would I be right in deducing that this magnificent Garvor was the one who directed you to this place? What preposterous you would. The slander! <laughs> Gardevoir, you were the one who arranged this ri was it? Raid- I don't know how to pronounce that. Rendezvous, there you go. Right, the, audac the audacity to imply such a thing. I could faint on the very spot, Gardevoir. La la la, fainting over here. Thank you. Truly. Madam, I need to find my son. And should he be here, we shall. Do you, do you not think it's wise to go together? I know better than to count others staying. Mother? And would you think unwise, and even if it, blah, and even if it be unwise, do you not think it would be kind? It, wait, I, <sighs> fine, I understand, I'll go through all. Fantastic, Sarah has joined the party. Although I do not wish to be an inconvenience, I very much appreciate it. What have I gotten myself into now? <laughs> something messy, something wonderful. At least take me out to dinner before that. Though I suppose you might have a certain amount of charm were not for the goofy hat. Now you listen here. I may have set you two up, but don't forget that Master belongs to me. Madam, I assure you, were it not for these goofy hats, I would have nothing at all. You don't say. Then I suppose you gotta step over me after all. Mother, please do not say things like that. Now, I know how much you're lost, how much loss you felt throughout your life. But unless it can somehow be changed, there's no use lamenting what, what was it we cannot have in favor of appreciating that we can, which we can. Are we losing sight of the situation here? We're only working together, it's not like we're about... We're about all about to be happy little family forever or something. That might depend on who you ask. And speaking of works here, just exact just what exactly are you all doing up here? Parenting. I received a summons to this place from my dear friend Shade. I still don't get how the hell does she know Shade? Of course I simply had to answer it. We were just assembling the visibility of that glass pit of death you see before you as an entrance. Glass pit of death sounds about it's sound like it's about my speed. That's not even all. That's not even all glass down there. There's ice too. Goodness, you can tell from such a height. Oh, please. Who do you think I am? <laughs> More importantly, it hasn't melted yet. Whatever happened here happened recently. The plot thickens. It seems we are less alone than we thought. If we may be of service to whoever, this, whoever is responsible for this, let us make haste. I'm sure there has to be a less destruct. There must be a less destructively created entrance. But well, let's scout out and find that. Right. We can't do where my name is Ash Ketchum. Who? But master, your name isn't Ash Ketchum, and th and even that can't stop us. Come on, come, let's be off. <laughs> oh my God, we found an elevator for open use in the building nearby, and so we made our way through the factory with little difficulty. I presume thanks in part to you, Jack Kirby. And soon we, we and soon we arrived in this room where we saw. You know what's time for? Lights, camera, and drama. Quickly give them to Volcarona. John Kirby, hand over to Sapphire Bracelets. No! John Kirby, we should have guessed it was you. 
Excellent work, Volcarona. Thank you. I suspect that is not quite the John Kirby we know. Bennett! Oh, for mother? Why did you have to come here too? For you, obvi- Your hair, it looks better. I'm aware, mother, thank you. Now please go. I don't wish for you to get dragged into this. You should have thought of that before you went and joined with a terrorist organization. Firstly, they're more of a religious organization than a terrorist one. Second, I don't approve of everything they do. I'm only doing a few jobs for them until I paid my dues. You ain't paying your dues for a while yet when we get out of here. Come on, or you're grounded for the next 45 years. Oh my god. Make that 50. I'm not coming home. Can't treat me like a child forever, mother. Zero, what are the lights doing? It's just a momentarily dip in power. Into power. I, um, don't think it's anything to worry about. You might, you may not be a child, but are your actions truly becoming of an adult? My actions, I'm... Sorry, I cannot, I cannot for a second take a seriously ridiculous mask on. What the hell is he wearing? I told him it was awful. Not all hats are trade equal, but that doesn't mean they deserve any less respect. Mother, how do you manage to, to make every new boyfriend weirder than the last? Don't get the wrong idea here. Besides, you, sh you should already know that Master has been vigorously taken. Do you have to phrase it like that? It's been a while, Gardevoir. Not long enough, if you ask me. I don't fault you for, for, for feeling that way. Please understand that I am no longer the same person you once knew. I'd much rather everyone let the past go, but I understand that won't be possible. Especially for you, Luna. I beg your pardon? I offer my sincerest apologies for how I acted before, but you need not accept them. There will be little point in doing so anyway. I just I disrespected you by treating you as an object before a person. There is no excuse for this. Zero is opposed to using too much power or something. The energy level, the energy readings up here, I didn't catch that. The, the stupid thing keep, just keeps po power cycling for some reason. But um, it doesn't seem to have interrupted a hypnosis, so please don't worry. We'll continue to analyze it. So don't hesitate if you want us to use John Kirby to grind him into dust. That that man seems mildly unwell. Zero, we only need to subdue them, not do anything drastic. Subdue them, huh? Okay, Jonathan will. Okay, John Kirby, will you be some kind? Zero, that's not. So that's how it is. You have John Kirby hypnotized, and the hideous pulse back there is is the source. Then there's only one thing we must do, is there not? We must defeat John Kirby in order to free him. They are wise to seize John Kirby as their defensive line, given that he has bested all of us at some point. <laughs> but not all of us together. Wait, Master, there's something you wish to do, was there not? Please allow me to begin. Luna, you... Please be silent. You claim to have changed, and you've chosen your side. If you are generally in your prior assertions, then... Then, what is it? Then do what it is you set out to do for yourself now. You mean that... You mean that if I truly respect you as a person, I may not... I need not take pity on or spare you as an enemy. It was never my intention for it to come to this, for it to come to this, but so be it. I will cut the ties myself. John Kirby, defeat Luna. And I took down Luna. So this is how it is. But this is only the natural outcome. There is no standing up to us anymore. With John Kirby on our side, we might as well be invincible. Are you so sh Are you so sure about that? After all, my only role here is to soften John Kirby enough for my parents to overcome. We will triumph as a family, if you will. No, you worry, Jared Luna. Even though John Kirby, even through John Kirby, there is no way we'll lose to these creeps. Right, Master? I suppose it's our turn after all. Miss Volklane, may I have the honor of this battle? Last time a man asked me that, he left the arena crying. <laughs> That's the risk I'm interested in taking right now. So let's hope you. So then let's hope you can satisfy. Seriously, Mother, I'm going to be sick here. And this situation is stacked. John Kirby, use these. So I guess that explains... <laughs> I got the full resource. I guess that explains why the hell are my Pokemon healed every... Like, between that those two fights. And Zero, please actually do something already. That's your cue, John Kirby. Go get them! <laughs> Just what is that trainer made of? <laughs> Providence, I suspect. I see, so in the end, it still hasn't been enough. John Kirby perform performs even better than I expected. Perhaps I underestimated that woman. And it's all thanks to my pulse. Zero, do not forget that I was the one who did the work. But it's okay, you helped a lot too. And just what part of this are you proud of? None of this was necessary. You could have put them to sleep at the start. Well, this was helpful to test. Don't speak. The only thing that's been tested is your willingness to indulge. I'm I'm sorry, I don't understand. You've been enjoying pup cheering John Kirby as lo around as an outlet for your frustrations with them. That's... Nothing is gained by battling now when we just have to put them to rest anyways. But you said... 
I said to actually do something, not to waste time and jeopardize the pulse security in a 1v2 scenario. I will take responsibility I will take responsibility for the battle with Luna, but this fight served no other purpose than to stroke your own ego. I just want to make sure John Kirby was fully under control. You want to feel that control. I assume because you lacked anatomy over your own body for so long. Am I wrong? And I read your file. You were just a grunt before joining with those girls, correct? Not an effective one either. They were your only chance to stand out, which is why you cling to them even now. Their kind, the kind of behavior you demonstrate today exemplifies your incompetence. You let your emotions get in the way of your outcome. Until you learn to set your ambitions aside and truly focus on yourself and your goals, you will never change. That, did that missionary teach you that? No mother. That man has done a little, little more for me than place me in footsteps my feet are not fit to fill. Even now, I understand that I cannot hope to fully live up to the title of Elite Four. In realizing this, I learned to step back and take it, and a more serious approach to self-improvement. I believe the results should speak for themselves. The results will speak louder than you still sitting on the wrong side of the coin. Is it wrong to return one's debts? The ends of a mean do not make its meaning end. Are you sure you're not running from your own choices? Zero? This is dragged on for far too long already. If you if you truly wish to make yourself useful, put them all to sleep already so we can move on. Got it. You are all going to be out of our way for good now. You won't. Gardevoir? You're already injured from that fight. There's no need to push yourself further. They'll put Master to sleep, toss him aside, and never let him wake up again. Maybe dispose him outright after what he did. I'll never... I'll never ever let that happen. What is he doing? As you know, Gardevoir are fiercely loyal to their trainers. They said that they'll do anything in their power to protect their trainer, even if it costs them their own life. Gardevoir, don't try to stop me. This is what I need to do for you. Rather than doing something dramatic, though I know you're such a fan of that, let us have faith in the world and our, and our other companions. Who's left? Who can stop John Kirby? <laughs> Who won't just be put to sleep? Gardevoir, please. No, this is the only way. I'll destroy that machine altogether. This is my purpose. This is not your- Yes, it is. T to make sure you lived on all those years ago. This is what she asked me to do. She- No harm will come to your master, Gardevoir. You have my word. You think we can believe you after everything? He will sleep and nothing more. When it's over, he will wake. I do not wish to see you hurt either. Liar! After what you've done to Luna and John Kirby, and what Team Meteor and Tessie do after this, you you want to make allowances now? I will never believe that. Xerogy. In the most dire of circumstances, it is said that was it, Gardevoir can use all of its power to go so far as even creating a small black hole. That's right. <clears throat> no matter how strong th that pulse may be, I can erase it altogether. Zero. I can set this right, and I will. Let Kang go, but seize her before it's too late. On it. Master, whatever happens, please remember, I'll always love you more than she or anyone else ever could. Zero. I got it. Are we too late? Your energy is spiraling out of control. Everyone, get out of here. What about John Kirby and the others? There's no time. Oh, Volcarona, Volcarona go already. If you've ever walked into a, cat, a class late, then you'll know what it is like. Heads turn, eyes peel, you'll think a, a thousand things that they did not, but feel them all the same. In that moment, you are the sole star in the sky, and they are trying to sleep. Expectation and anxiety are frequent guests at an otherwise unplanned tea party. And while the sugar sits untouched, the sun is setting far too slowly. Never soon enough, it will be time for them to go along their way. They will retire for the evening, home to their wives, to their children, children who grow tired, children who, go, who grow up asleep. But you, you must peel their eyes. There is a time in every child's life where they must lay down their teaspoon, pinch the corners of a fabric, and pull the tablecloth right away. Enough, she says, and fall the lights out. When there's one path, there's only one path way to go. Oh my god, how long is this cutscene? <laughs> and when in the darkness, the path cannot be seen at all, then you are free. For now, the time has come for me to follow my own infinity. Farewell, mother, farewell, father. It has been like a dream. No, 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 no. Why? Why? Why did... Control, control, right? Incompetence. This is always how it is. This, whole, this is always how it was. Best is not good enough. Best is not good enough. I told you why, Zero. What did we do? What to do? Eve, tell me what we should do. Report back to Labradora. Lin, wa Lin will want to know what happened. 
I'll take the bracelets and finish from here. That's right. That's right. As long as we have the sapphire bracelets, it's okay. Haha, <laughs> Laura woke up. She won't be mad, she won't be mad. Will she? Go. Yes. Gardevoir. I'm sorry I had to come to this. Mother, are you alright? Never better. Good. And Luna. Where's Luna? Do you know what happened to Luna? Luna stepped to the black hole on her own. She. Is this the end you hope to achieve? Shut up. I don't want to hear from someone who couldn't even control his own Pokemon. Then who would you rather prefer? Here. Is this the only person you listen to? Don't kid me. He and I used each other, nothing more. I have no respect for his beliefs or his goals, but you enact them all the same. With little alternative. But now that you mention it, I can disappear from here. They will conclude I was lost in the damage. I can break free of this now. Why did it cost Luna and Gardevoir? Thank you. Mother, you may rest assured I may not meddle with this group again. You're still grounded. That's fine, I'm still not coming home. <laughs> I need to destroy this sur the surveillance footage here. And what about your cohort? He'll make a report, correct? I'm a fool. I have to stop him immediately. Um, excuse me? Oh, you're awake now. I'm glad you're safe. Miss Bell Rose, I'm deeply sorry for what's happened. I heard that these ones belong to your family. Please take them. I understand. There is no time. I have to hurry. Maybe I can help you? Your confusion is apparent. Listen. It's because of me that you lost your position as a member of the Elite Four. Elias created a false notice of termination, and then we hypnotized you to hand write a letter of resignation. And then I took over your spot. I'm truly sorry for what has happened, but, I must, but right now I must go. Does it mean I can't help? You are a deeply concerning person. Let me put it more simply, I have been your enemy. There is no reason for you to help me. I think there is. Do people have to be defined by their flaws and mistakes? Even if we are not defined by them, we cannot just ignore them. I understand that you must have, have done some bad things, but I also understand you are you're doing your best to change. If I can be of any hope, I would like to. You sound like just like her. Ugh. I have two sisters, and they, they aren't particularly spotless either. Nobody is. Still, I have learned that in order to survive, we have to work together no matter what. Fine, do, do whatever you want. There is, somewhat there is a somewhat disheveled man in black currently going on foot from here to Labradora. Can you catch him? If we can change the weather, my Pokemon will be able to outspeed anyone. I will do it. Then I'll destroy security footage here and meet up with you. And I'll see if I can bring some food. Despite our systems, you must be starving after sleeping for so long. <clears throat> we can work out the details with the Elite Four then. Okay? That sounds wonderful. Oh, deal. Let's go quickly. So much for a happy little family. Luna, God of War, Kane, and even John Kirby. Everyone always disappears. Let's not make a bad situation worse by, ex by exercising it its extremes. And there I am, just popped out the black hole. <laughs> Unbelievable. And here we are. I don't know by what means or madness Shade pulled you back into this world. But it appears you have business that you are not yet permitted to quit. If I may be so bold, how was it on your end that you managed to return? Luna herself showed you the way? Luna did? Then... It seems there are still miracles that, that fire mis our understandings. Will you, will you still hold your wounds closed, Miss Volklane? I don't know what to count on anymore. Maybe nothing. Now you're getting it. Let us presume to hope she'll be back one day. After all, you'll never know who will stroll through the door next. Everyone is always coming and going, and coming right back. John Kirby, you made it back. <laughs> Not that I doubt a nostril or anything. Where do these kids come from? Oh my god, are you okay? What happened? I'm sorry? Those cracks all over your skin. Do you need help? On my skin? Am I, getting, am I getting wrinkles again? No, not wrinkles, cracks. See, over here and here and here, I don't? Don't worry about it. She's always, she's always sees things other people don't. That seems safe. It's not always. Jeez. But really, what are you doing here? This isn't a place for children. No, uh if, if this wasn't a place for children, then why would be here? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> We're here for him. Yep, Nostra made us sleep so that poor Hypno couldn't. And then we came to meet him. Hi, Q Hat. Have you been crying? <laughs> Not anymore. You really are just like her. Come here. Wait, don't tell me you're there. What? Like, everyone didn't see that coming. Yeah, I really don't know how I would have came to that conclusion, having just met you and all. Sorry to keep you waiting for so, so long. It is so very, very alright. I am just happy to see you again. You've both grown, gotten so big. When I last saw you, you were just this tiny. And if anyone should be sorry to keep on waiting, it's me. You both deserve so much more. 
It's alright, Nasser said that this is the only way it could have happened. I know, I know how so that is. You still got it. That's relief. Of course I do, we would never willingly let go of something you gave us. And that Cleffa too. His name is Nomos. Nomos, hello, it's nice to meet you. He says hi. Noel told everything Nomos says, not just the first part, Noel, you said? And if I heard correctly, you go by Anna. Yep, that's us. Shouldn't you already know that? Those aren't the names your, that your mother chose for you. Painter. No, yeah, paint. I don't know how to pronounce this. Fantasia. <clears throat> Those are such cool names. She has some flair about her. But when I had to let you go, I personally withheld your name so there would be no way they could find you. Who's they? Team Meteor. Will you tell us why Team Meteor was after you? It's not a simple story, but I can say it clearly as I can. This is an hour-long cutscene if I'm just reading it. Oh my god. Mistakes are, way are lessons waiting to be learned, and some might say that they have been well-educated indeed. During one such lesson, a, per a certain person helped me understand that the particular objects could be very dangerous in that group's position. So I did what I had to and stole those particular objects. In order to disguise their origin, I asked a close friend to fashion them each, in each of them into jewelry. Jewelry was a passion of his back then, but he was unprepared for the energy those keys held, and one of them broke in half. He was able to recover it, and, so, and, did, and he did fantastic work on the others, so I gave him one of the finished pieces as thanks. And with the others, I sought out buyers. In particular, I searched for strong trainers who would, who would be able to effectively defend their pieces, should Meteor try to recover them. Caroline and Monty were the first. With two gym leaders together, I felt certain they'd be safe. They chose a sapphire key to match their eldest daughter's name. Next was Mr. Molinar. He chose the ring for his engagement. And the last one I entrusted to the beauty who showed me the light. That was your mother. And so I reinvented myself with a new name, a new personality, and a new history. John Kirby, I hope you'll forgive me for deceiving you. My wealth has never come from my success as a chess player. It came from the sales of those keys, and a few extra digits taken from Meteor's coffers. I always hoped to be able to, <laughs> to I always hoped to be able to fulfill your mother's dream of living in a castle. That's so cool. <clears throat> my god. I, don't def I do not defend Beavery, but I dare say it was better use of the money than they would have found for it. And for a time, she was happy. I thought it in happily. But turns out, happily ever after just means the next story hasn't started yet. Team Meteor learned of what I've got, of done, who I was, and where the keys were. And so it began anew. Your mother was a walking miracle. But for better or for worse, Peter, uh, people often t outlive their miracles. After her disappearance, I was scared, above all else, for both of your safeties. I didn't, want to I didn't want any harm to come to you, so I had to make sure you didn't get mixed up with them. And just to look how that turned out. It's okay, I know you're just doing your best. What whether it was right or not, here. You have this back. You had it. I was so sad after it was taken. I was so sad that I got sick and almost died of sadness. <laughs> Why'd you give it to her? It was not one of my better plays, perhaps. I was hoping Team Meteor would never find it if it was at YouTube. Instead, it caused them to seek, to seek you out. It gave them cause to take you out. Perhaps sentimentality got, the, sentiment, sentimentality got the better of me. Whether that was right or wrong, no. I mean, why'd you give it to her and not me? Why is Anna the one that's always special? Ah, here, you can keep it. No, that's okay. I don't want it. I just want to know. You deserve it more than I do. It's not about deserving or not. Just take it. No, I can't even hear no most. I never could. I shouldn't hold something like that. I know you can't. What? That's okay, you'll understand eventually. <laughs> oh my god, this is so confusing. If you ever want to hold a pen instead, just ask me, okay? Okay. So why'd you give it to Anna? It was your mother's before. I simply thought it would suit her better. But it seemed there may, there may have been some cause and effects in your similarities after all. Still, I understand that was unfair to you. I hope you can forgive me. It's not like it matters. I don't understand any of you. However do you mean? It's been how many years and you, and you all go on like nothing's happened? You act as if all of you knew the whole time that you'd meet here. The future has a funny way of never being how we know it. But we never had to know. All we had to do was decide. The future cannot hold a candle to resolution. Considering something like the law of large numbers, it was only logical this would happen eventually if we kept looking. Plus, we had a little help. You're unbelievable. What? I am totally be believed. I can totally be believed. <laughs> right, Noel? Sometimes. Noel! <laughs> but despite being unbelievable, here you all are. Then that means you don't need to change your beliefs. If you can see how, if you can see things isn't as an accurate reflection of reality, then why keep looking that way? You should be the last person who should be saying that, or the first. 
A reflection of a reflection of reality, huh? In that case, maybe it's just maybe it's better just to put the mirror down. Let there be no reflection at all, and see and see things however works best for you. Smooth talking runs in the family, doesn't it? They got it from their mother. I don't think that's true. Maybe we all did. <clears throat> maybe you have room to learn from them too. It's tough to lose people, but you can just lean on the people who's still around you. <coughs> So depend on us now. Hey now, who's the parent here? Oops. But you are of course correct. I only lament that to say goodbye to Gardevoir Luna and say hello to you. Not to mention the other boy. But I admit, it could have been much worse given the circumstances. Perhaps the only reason the damage was so minimal was because Gardevoir fought to control herself even through the hypnosis. Loyal to the very end? That's not something I'm used to. That's, that's something I'm not used to. Maybe it's time you change that. Um, excuse us. Sorry to interrupt, but... You did it, you did it. Great job to both of you. <laughs> did you open a daycare service while I wasn't looking? <laughs> maybe maybe if I also wasn't looking. Okay, everybody. These are my friends, Lumi and Eve. Oh my god, they are alive. Um, hi. We caused a lot of trouble for you. Please accept my apologies. I believe the man in black who was here before had called out to you. That is correct, if pitiable. It's kind of a long story, but basically we were stuck with him for a long time in the same body. I wouldn't recommend the experience. In essence, we had to work for Team Meteor this, the entire time. I, just, I developed the pulse systems that they have been used to create a near insurmountable degree of trouble. Oh, thanks for that. Hey, she didn't do it because she wanted to. I agreed to develop machines for Team Meteor only under the condition that Lumi's physical body would be adequately preserved. That both of our bodies would be. You don't need to put. Keep, you, you do not need to keep putting yourself aside. I always intended to find a way to restore ourselves to our proper bodies, but we didn't. But working towards that was impossible when we didn't even have the privacy of our own thoughts. I'm happy to be back, but I wish we didn't have to lose that poor Magnezone for it. And full control took a while to get used to again. It was difficult at first, yes. Thank you, thank you again for what you did. Totally. And what exactly was that? Noel and I switched places with these girls. Nostra said it would be really important for them to wake up right away. Thanks to that, we were able to help John Kirby reach this place. We hid in and moved through the vents to evade Team Meteor and stole our Pokemon back to help John Kirby. Thanks for taking good care of Glaceon, John Kirby. Even uh, though what happened after John Kirby actually got here would have gone better. Could have gone better. Yeah. Um, don't don't get us wrong, John Kirby. We're not trying to fault you. But we know Zero would try to use Hypno to control you, so we tried to stop it. We tried to cut the system power as soon as he used it on you, but unfortunately the power supply had an auto reboot function. I had an account for this to preempt it, so we were all trying to do what- So all we were able to do was power cycle the system. We were hoping if we did enough, maybe to dig holes- make enough holes in control scheme to for John Kirby to break through. But you saw the result. That's okay, you tried as best you could. I feel really bad for Kane. He never had- he never even had a chance to act on his own from the time he came here from when he fell into the black hole. Yeah, but John Kirby came back, so maybe he can too. Speaking of coming back, it may be prudent for us to quit this place before too long. Um, would it be alright for us to go with you? We don't really know who else to turn to to get away from Team Meteor. Are you kidding? Not only can you come with us, not only can you come with us, you have to. I can see no reason why not. Everyone will be winning Kalsanon City. Even though, I have some information about Team Meteor that will be rev was it of relevance to you all as well. What should we do about this one? Hey there, sleepyhead. It's time to wake up. Look at all, look at all the friends surrounding you. Huh? Um, what? What happened? Where's Kane? We have to explain later. For now, let's get going. Um, by the way, there is a boy sleeping in one of the elevators still. <laughs> that sounds like, that sounds like a cozy place. We tried to wake him up after Hypno has been stopped, but he still wouldn't move. Even Galician's heal bottle wouldn't work. He went right. He just went right back to sleep every time. We'll see what we can do. Should should worse come to worse, I'll carry him myself. Can you really get him all by yourself? All the way to Kalsanon? Certainly not. But as long as we have our Pokemon, anything's possible. Don't worry, Daddy, you'll see her again. Nostra said so. Did she now? I suppose I have no choice but to believe it. Let us be on our way. John Kirby, you're coming too, right? I got no reason to stay here, plus I want to get out of here. Yay, we can go together. Oh my god. Freedom. 